Major inspirations. There, there, there's, there's a fair amount. I look up to a lot of people. It's inspiring me these days. Who's my biggest inspiration? Who's your inspiration? There's so many though. I don't know if I can pick one. My inspiration would be my mother and my grandmother. My inspiration is my grandma. It's, it's you know, my mom and dad. Um, definitely my parents. It, it's, it's definitely my parents. You know, it's because of their sacrifice and their willingness to do what they love that I think that I was able to find what I, what I love as well. My wife, with entertainment or any endeavor, it really requires a lot of people that you don't see in the spotlight to make it happen. I draw a lot of inspiration from my family. It's just the most important thing in my life. I just see a lot of like people making stuff every day. Those people are really the people who inspire me. Whether you're like making music or like graphic designing or like starting a business or animating. Like creating their own content, writing their scripts, or just taking that risk and taking that leap of faith. I know a lot of people sometimes come into the industry and I've heard like, you know, it kind of changes the way you act. I look up to the people that didn't really change and, and kept it 100 the whole time. My number one uh, inspiration for acting is Viola Davis. I also love Sandra Oh. I love Sandra Oh, Rosario Dawson. I recently worked with her and she is now one of my friends, which is like very surreal to say. One of my biggest inspirations within the industry, of course, is Margaret Cho. I actually got to work with her recently. It's just a dream come true. When I was working at the University of Michigan, I helped organize a lecture, and one of our speakers was Brian Michael Smith, who was on season one of The L Word, and is on 911 Lone Star right now. Um, and he's been a bit of a mentor. He does inspire me to, to kind of forge my own path and like be able, like it's possible for like trans men to be in really cool roles. It's a whole collection of strong Asian women. First time I saw Ali Wong's special, I think that was the first time where I was confronted with like an Asian American woman kind of just killing it, like in her craft. Seeing that was just so encouraging and empowering in many, many ways. One person that I've always looked to and I think is just a fantastic human is Mr. Rogers. Seeing someone like that have such compassion and patience and wisdom is a really inspiring thing. People who inspire me to be more authentic and, and just do something that only I could do. And there's so many great artists that do that. The uh, mentors that I uh, started with when I was a, a puppy, like my first play, all those, uh, the Asian American actors that I met there without whom I wouldn't have started. Emily Kuroda, who I met uh, during that show, and Francois Chow, Tai Ma, Sai Chin, Lisa Liu, and now I'm becoming them, I guess. <laughs> I've been around long enough. There was a scene for the Space Force for the next season that we shot. Uh, it was about you know my character getting a gift and is so excited about it. And I was like, man, have you guys seen this Instagram video? Like a 10-year-old kid getting an Aquaman figure. And he was like, oh, it's Aquaman! And he was just like so excited. And I was like, man, what if we put some of that in there? I think it'll be really fun. So I think inspiration comes from everywhere.